When Nikita Khrushchev took over as leader of the Soviet Union after Stalin's death, he began a realistic accounting of Soviet casualties. He claimed as many as a million Soviet soldiers were lost in the three months of the Winter War. Since then, some historians have disputed Khrushchev's numbers. Few have challenged his conclusion the Winter War had unintended consequences. A victory at such a cost was actually a moral defeat. Our people never knew we had suffered a moral defeat because they were never told the truth. All of us, and Stalin first and foremost, sensed in our victory a defeat by the Finns. It was a dangerous defeat because it encouraged our enemy's conviction that the Soviet Union was a colossus with feet of clay. In short, our miserable conduct of the Finnish campaign encouraged Hitler in his plans for the Blitzkrieg, his Operation Barbarossa. Stalin's perception of the threat to Leningrad turned out to be completely in the wrong direction because when the threat came, it was from the Wehrmacht divisions pushing up through Poland and the Baltic states rather than from the Finns. It's quite possible that, that had Stalin not had the lessons of the Winter War, that his army would have been even in poorer shape when, when Hitler attacked and that Hitler actually might have managed to take Moscow. Since the collapse of the Soviet Union, there has been a re-examination of this cataclysmic conflict. It was in 1988 when the Russians said that they start the uh, Winter War. And before that, they said that the Finns started the Winter War. Most Russian people don't know anything about Winter War. They have white pages on their history. 